currently at my Suzhou of Jiangsu province in East China, uh, which is one of the uh, city with a rich culture. And uh, here we are going to see how the city with its spanning over 2,500 years of history and uh, how it's shining brighter through the integration of cultural heritage and innovation. And after Suzhou, we are heading to Huzhou in Zhejiang province to see the modernization of one of China's beautiful countryside uh, in East China. And after that, for the last stop, we are heading to Shanghai to see how the city is giving new momentum by the development of new technology and the form of new uh, quality productive forces. And first, the first stop is in Suzhou province. Hope today my introduction will give you a cultural vibe of the city of Suzhou. Currently, we are at the Suzhou Museum, which is the only museum in China designed by the world famous architect Il Ming Pei. And it sits alongside with the world famous uh, tourist sites such as the uh, humble administrator's garden and the lion groove garden. So the museum together with the gardens form as forms a uh, tapestry where the class classic and contemporary weave into one single picture. Uh, one interesting fact I would like to share with you is that the annual volume of tourists of this museum is about 3 million and with very little fluctuation. And the reason is that the museum runs at its full capacity for the majority of its open days during the year. And the cultural lure of Suzhou extends beyond its architecture, the cultural, the traditional cultural practices such as the, uh, the local Wu dialect, the Quinchu opera, together with other cultural practices, uh, also gains popularity among the younger generation. A case in point is the bilingual performance called Slow Melodic Sounds or Sheng Sheng Man in Chinese at the Peking University's 2024 opening ceremony went viral on social media. As you can see this case, it shows, it shows by the uh, integration of uh, exchange and collaboration with Western culture, um, it, sh it showcases the diversity and inclusiveness of Chinese culture. And also the cultural strength of Suzhou showcases by the, uh, its craftsmanship and folk art. As the hub for handicraft and folk art, Suzhou is home to 730 intangible cultural heritages and uh, with the Suzhou embroidery shining the brightest among them. And also there is a saying that the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, craftsmanship of Suzhou uh, represents the specialized and, innovat and innovative of the old times. And also last year, the core cultural sector of Suzhou has achieved a revenue of nearly 100 billion yuan from large-scale cultural enterprises with a year-on-year -year increase of about 17%. And also the annual revenue of large-scale enterprises uh, in the cultural, sports, entertainment industries has grown by nearly 34% compared to the previous year. So I hope by all these mentioned, you can get an understanding of how the culture contributes to the prosperity of Sudo City. Now back to you, Michael. Yeah, Suzhou, definitely a cultural powerhouse here in China. Many thanks for that, Ho Jing. I would also give a shout out to a cruise on the Grand Canal in Suzhou. Definitely one of the best experiences that you can have here 